Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I want to first say thank you so much for all the feedback regarding the Logic video that I put up uh, several months ago. A lot of Facebook messages and some uh, emails that came through with that. Uh, so I'm glad it was helpful and I figured we would do some more. Uh, keep this going and maybe make it a series. Uh, skip ahead, feel free. Uh, to the uh, portion of the video where we're going to be working on this, but I just recently updated to Macintosh Big Sur, and uh, I got to say it's different, very unique, uh, definitely more iOS oriented. So if you're if you're new to this, just follow along, and we'll be learning together and figuring this out. But we're going to open up Logic Pro again, uh, running the latest version. I believe it, it is 10.6. And uh, lots of cool things that they've done. Uh, more voiceover friendly, which is always good for us blind folks. Um, however, they've added a ton of loops for any of you loop-oriented people who like to do arrangements. So that's fun. Maybe we can do a video on that sometime in the future. Uh, but today, I uh, wanted to focus on regions, uh, editing audio and MIDI events and things of that nature. So a little bit of a deeper, uh, more intermediate feature in the program. But uh, yeah, let's. I got voiceover routed through, so feel free to follow along. Pause and play as you uh, please to uh, keep up. So we'll we'll get right into this. I hope you're as excited as I am, and I hope you're having a great day. So let's get into it. So let's Alt or Command Tab rather. Radio Cast Logic Pro Logic Pro. Got Logic open, so I'm gonna press con Command N to create a new, default new project. Okay, so right away, uh, the window is the same if you're familiar with Logic. Great, if you're not, please watch the other video, but I'll will do. i do a quick couple of recaps here on the window. So the start screen is fairly similar to the latest version of GarageBand if you're a GarageBand user and have been looking to get into Logic. So, um, but we're gonna press our VO keys, command, uh, excuse me, control and option and our home key Table recent selected to bring us to the far uh, furthest left uh, kind of side where we can start interacting and there's a table that we can interact with. Okay. Um, to interact, we do the V. So when I say VO, I just mean the voiceover keys. So that's going to be option and control. So we're going to do VO shift down arrow in table recent selected recent. Rotate. Okay. And recent is selected new project. If we do VO up arrow, it should bring us to new project. New project. So that's what we want. So I'm going to stop interacting, which then will change the items to the right. Collection one item selected. Image. Empty project. Okay, so I went VO right there. So there's a collection. We can interact with that to select uh, different kind of templates and things that are set up within the project uh, format. So we're going to do VO end. Choose default button. And hit VO space and select choose so we can start this. Logic Pro Busy. Okay, voiceover. One in dialogue, new track. One. Con okay. Number of tracks. Logic Pro has new window. So, kind of typical screen here. I'll get this all set up. Make sure my keyboard is functional. Okay. Perfect. I'm not going crazy, at least right now I'm not. All right, so we're gonna do VO home. Software instrument selected. So again, uh, if you're familiar with this window, fantastic. If not, uh, it's giving us the option to select what kind of track we wanna create. So there's software track, and I'm gonna VO right here. Audio, radio button, two Audio. Of six. Drummer, radio button, three of six. Drummer, and I obviously voiceover is gonna let you know how many items are there so you know how far this window goes as far as how many um, options you have available to you that you can select external MIDI radio button so for right now software instrument selected radio we're going to do software instrument which is selected by default so we're going to press VO end create default button and do VO space on create dialogue dialogue sweet Okay, so the uh, by default, uh, the classical piano or classic keyboard, kind of a cloth type of um, instrument comes up by default. And uh, let's just go over some basic controls before we get into this. Uh, enter will take us to the beginning of our playhead, so let's do that. One bar, one beat, one division, one tick. Okay, so voiceover is going to let us know. And one bar, one beat, one division, one tick. So what all that means is basically that's a, a units of uh, time and measurement based on uh, how wh where you're moving on your grid. So uh, 
to change change bars, okay, or measures, if you will, you're going to be pressing your comma and your period key. Two bars, one beat, one division, one, three bars, four bars, five bars, six bars, seven bars, one beat. Okay. Uh, and vice versa with the comma. Six, five, four bar, three bar, two bar, one bar, one beat, one beat. Okay. Play is, or play and pause is your space bar. One bar, two. Okay. So let's enable our metronome by pressing the letter K. Metronome on. Okay. One bar, one. And my metronome sounds like this. By default, it's going to sound a little bit different, so uh, we can kind of get into that later and how we can customize the metronome and make it sound a little bit more audible and not as clicky, which is uh, a little more obnoxious. I, I personally like to have a little more melody in mind. It's a little more pronounced when you're recording, so on and so forth. But uh, So for the uh, main preface of this video, we're going to get into regions, okay? Uh, so we need something to record with first, so we're going to record a couple of bits so we're gonna press enter one bar one beat one and uh to record you press the letter r which is pretty standard across most digital audio workspaces uh that you have maybe had your hands on uh, so we're gonna get one bar of count which is basically saying it's gonna count four times so bloop 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 and then bam you start your measure so you have one measure to prepare uh and that's Really helpful, especially later once you're deep into a project and you have vocals to record, so on and so forth. So we're going to do that. We're going to press the letter R. Okay, 11 space. Stop that. Okay, very good. We're going to hit enter. One bar, one beat. Okay, to bring us back to the beginning, we're going to press play. Listen to our work for a second. And it looks like I started a bit too early. Why am I doing this? Okay, so we're 13. gonna press space. And to uh, quantize, I know quanti quantization is uh, sort of a niche thing, depending on who really likes to use it, especially in your EDM and your house mixes and uh, trance music and stuff like that. So to do that, you can press the letter Q, and by default, it quantizes at 16 beats per minute. The fuck does that mean, Tony? Okay, so by default, we're at four, four over four. Our time is 4-4, four, four, common time. So for any folks who are not aware of how that works, it is four beats in a in a measure, okay? Uh, we can kind of go over that really quick and explain that concept. It's really fun. And once you kind of understand it, it's all math after that. Uh, subdividing and um, using uh, a uh, system of four. One bar, one beat. So one, two, three, four. One bar. That's one measure. So it's four over four. If we were to do... 16th notes that would be one two three four 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 so the quantization is going to be looking for those kind of uh notes to put it on a grid so it's fixed it's kind of dehumanizing the uh performance which you know uh in, in some cases that's okay in other cases it sounds too robotic but for this example we're going to do that so i'll press the letter q quantize selected region cells events okay uh and enter one bar one b and play one bar. Oops. One bar. There we go. Eleven bar. Perfect. Okay. So we've got our first instrument knocked down. Let's add something to it. Okay, I, I feel like we can um, add some little bit of diversity into this. So let's create a new software track. Let's make sure we are at the beginning of our playhead. One bar, one beat, one division. Enter. Okay, and we're going to press Command Option S for a new software track. And I'm going to press the letter Y. Tracks, group, library off. Oh, okay, we're going to press it again to toggle our library. Library on. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to VO home. Control bar, toolbar. To so get to the toolbar. Okay. VO right. Library group. And our library is there. So we're going to interact with that. VO shift down arrow. In library group. Eight items. Classic electric piano. 
Okay, so it tells me the name of the instrument. I'm going to VO right. Horizontal splitter. Search down search text field. VO right Play. again. Library browser. And again, so now we have a browser, so we're going to interact In here. Library browser. Vintage, ele vintage electric piano. Okay, so now Hi, I can category. do VO Choose. up or VO down to kind of go through the categories and different instruments that are available. So let's do that. User channel strip settings. Bass. Drum kit. Electronic drum kit. Guitar. Keyboards. Mallet. Orchestral, percussion, piano, quick sampler, studio horn, studio string, synthesizer, vintage B3, vintage clamp, vintage electric, vintage Mellotron, world, arpeggiator, cinematic, legacy, legacy. Okay, Pat perfect. Category. So let's User go category. back to the top. User patches. VO home, and we're going to select a drum kit and put ourselves a drum kit on this project. And we will get to the editing side of this soon. So we're going to build it, and then we're going to edit it. Okay? All right. User channel, strip settings, face. Drum kit. Okay, VO Patch right. Category. Choose a category. Okay, load. and it's going to load. My keyboard is not registering. Bluebird. Okay, we're going to load to the selected channel strip. You can start playing it immediately. Do this. Toggle channel strip solo on. Toggle channel strip. Tra library on. Track one classic electric piano. Toggle channel strip solo off. Toggle cha track two blue. Track one toggle cha track two bluebird. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's press Y to turn off our library. Library on. Library off. Stop that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, voiceover will get a little finicky, or I'm just a complete idiot and getting lost. I'm going to go with the second one just to um, put it out there because I'm, I'm probably an idiot, but we're just trying to figure this out. So I'm going to press Enter to put me at the beginning again. One bar, four Two bars. And my track has disappeared. Toggle channel strip solo on. Toggle so channel. soloing is is what it is. So sometimes if you accidentally press S on a track you did not intend to, you may wonder why the rest of your project is not playing anything. So that's a troubleshoot sometimes. So you and here's another lesson. Um to go through the various tracks that you do have on your project, you can press up and down arrow, and voiceover will announce those two and which one you're gonna be interacting with. So let's do that. Track one classic electric piano, mute. Okay, it says muted. Toggle channel, strip mute off. Okay, perfect. So that's kind of helpful. It'll let you know if it's soloed or if it's muted. You know, that's a good indication. So, track to Bluebird. We're going to go back down to Bluebird and our drum set. And one bar we're going to play with that. So, same thing as before. Enter. One bar one. Bring us to the beginning. Press letter R to record, and it's going to give us that bar count in. Okay, Eleven. space. Okay, we'll do the quantize thing again. And quantize selected region. Letter Q. Enter. One bar. Space. Four B. Let's turn off our metronome by pressing K. Metro. Sweet. Okay, twelve bars. so I think we can add one more instrument. Uh, why don't we add a bass guitar, and then we will get right into working on an edit. Hope you guys are having fun so far. If you haven't already, please give me a like uh, and subscribe to get more updates on videos for Logic Pro and some of my other personal music on the side and the channel, so please feel free to check that stuff out. And share, share, share. Uh, you know, the more that we can get folks uh, into music production and just giving them that source of an outlet, the better. Uh, we all feel better when we have music in our lives, because if not, then we're chasing down vampires and trying to, uh, I don't know where the fuck I'm going with that, but the world's a better place when music's in the world. So, same thing as before. Okay, retracing. I don't know what that meant. So we're going to do Command Option S to create a new track. Track three, classic electric piano. Okay, excellent. So let's press our letter Y to open up the library. Library on. Okay, Out perfect. Let's stop interacting. VO home. Control bar, toolbar. Bring us to the toolbar. Okay, VO right. Library group. Into the In library. library we go. VO shift down. Horizontal search zone. Library browser. VO right over to the browser. In library. VO down. Vintage electric piano. VO shift down, excuse me. Okay, so now we need to find a bass guitar. User chat bass. Patch category. Choose a category. There's our bass. 
Fincher style bass. All right. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else. I like that one better. Okay, sweet. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to press the letter Y. Let's get rid of this library. Tracks group. One, okay. One bar one. Enter. Letter R. Okay. Eleven. Bar Sweet. Okay. Let's do Q to quantize. Put it on the grid. Quantize. Select. Enter. One bar. Space. Four beats. Four. Fun. Okay. So, regions are portions of audio and MIDI that have been recorded. So, it's like having, uh, you know, when, when you record something, that session, that take, that is a region. And by navigating through particular regions on a particular track, we press the left and right arrow on the main window. And then, then the question is, how the hell do I know which region I'm on, Tony? Okay, that's a fair question. I'm an idiot. You want to press shift space. And what the playhead does is it plays it directly from that playhead. That, that, uh, wow, that was terribly explained. Okay, so what you do it, it's, is it plays it directly from that start point. So you kind of have an idea of where, what you're messing with. So let's do that. But add something else. Plot twist. Ooh. Let's add one more instrument. Track four classic elect track four. And put this particular instrument towards the middle of this session. Control library group in lock horizontal library. Vintage user face drum electric top keyboards mallet orchestral percussion piano quick sampler. Mm, what do we Hatch want? Studio horn studio strings studio well, horn. Let's do a horn. Three piece section. Single instruments. Seven piece section. Single instruments. Let's find ourselves a sax. Studio alto sax. Because I'm sexy. Terrible joke. Okay. Tracks, group. I would be yelled at for pitch bending a saxophone, and I expect that to be in a comment somewhere. So I deserve it. Please give it to me. Okay. So we're going to press Y to get rid of the library. Library off. Let's library get that off. out of here. One bar one. Library off. Okay. Excellent. So space, or excuse me. One bar one. Enter. Two bar, three bars, four bars. I want to move my playhead. Three, two bar. Three bars, four bars, three bars, three bars. Okay, four bars, why don't we start the recording on bar four, so the metronome will count me in at bar three. Eleven bar. Okay. I already made a little mistake towards the end, so that's that's going to be what we edit to cut out. Okay, so let's play around with this shift space nonsense, okay, to find our regions. Okay, so left and right arrow to navigate through. So we only have one region in particular on all of these tracks. So let's just use those as an example. And then we will make a split and turn it into two. And this is handy with audio and MIDI. So if you're somebody who likes to audio edit for projects or put presentations together and you want to use logic as your basis, you can do that. So I'm going to press shift space right where I'm at. Okay, it didn't work. Le right arrow. Three bars, four beats, four division. And that's something, you know, if it doesn't play right away, 
press that right arrow to move to the region. VoiceOver is not necessarily going to make an audible right away as far as telling you that you're on a region. You kind of have to problem solve that yourself. Um, but same as before, so shift space. Three bars, four beats, four to... I'm going to solo my sax. And on solo. Eleven bar. Oh, ten bars. Ten bars. Ten bars. So I want to get rid of that meh, that random note, because it was annoying, just like me. <laughs> oh, I'm such, I'm, I don't know who I am. Okay, so let's edit that out. I think that needs to go. That note needs to go. I don't like it. In uh, a future video, we'll look at the MIDI events list as well, and we will walk through the process of manually changing notes, which you can do. So if you want to be lazy, not re-record the freaking track, you can modify it if you so wish, and you want to manually change up notes. We'll look at that, because that is doable. It's a cool little feature. Uh, so let's get back to Earth, okay? Uh, I need to find the point where I need to split. So that requires a lot of listening, a lot of space barrage, and a lot of commas and a lot of periods to navigate between bars and listening to your playhead. And MIDI is a little bit different than audio. Audio can be cut at any point. But if you accidentally hit MIDI, right when the note hits, you may not get the note. It'll, it'll mess up the system, if you will. Uh, not so good at explaining that, but we'll look at it. So I'm going to press comma. Ten bars. Nine bars. Ten bars. Ten bars. Eleven. So that note comes right before that bar. Just before it. Right on the upbeat. So we need to be Ten bars, one. vigilant. Nine bars. Four. Ten bars. So I'm going to stop it right there. And I'm going to press Command T. No, notes crossing split point window. Split regions events at playhead position. Okay. So this is at, it's this is going to basically let us know, hey, are you sure about this? Because you're about to split this whole region into two. Now, it only really do this with MIDI. You won't see this too much uh, with audio. So I'm going to VO end. Okay, default button. Over to OK. Untitled tracks window. So tracks, now I'm going to press shift space. 10 bars to 11. But I'm going to press left arrow now. Three bar. Six bar. There are two regions. I'm going to press right arrow and then shift space. 10 bars to Okay. 12 bar. So those are our two regions. We just cut some MIDI. We cut it in half. And this will apply with audio as well. We can do that um, on a separate video if so wish. So please let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more of this. So I want to get rid of that. Meh. I want to get rid of that crap. So I'm going to shift space again to verify what region I'm on. Ten bars to 11 bar Good. I don't like it. Command X. Cut. Gone. Okay. If I press shift space, nothing happens. So it's gone. So I'm going to left arrow to go to the previous region, the one we had to be from the begin with. And shift space. Three bars, four beats, four to... Awesome. Okay. 12 bar. Metronome off. Well, I think that about does it, friends. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what else you want to see. I got lots that we can do. So we'll look more into recording and get into some mixing as well, mess with some of the plugins that are available on Logic as well as dive into some third-party uh, plugins that you can access uh, from various organizations and companies that uh, vendor to DAW programs like, such as Logic. So I hope you have a good rest of your day. Enjoy yourself. Happy New Year's. And um, yeah, yeah. All right, stay groovy. Bye.